Hey yo, and welcome to Gallum's Corner. Welcome to a challenge video. For this challenge, I am gonna attempt to spend the next seven days surviving purely on army rations. Now, this is, um, it's not really a video I plan to make, to be perfectly honest with you. The other night, I'd, I'd had a couple of beers and I was just checking my emails and I saw I had an email from like this kind of prepper company telling me they had a sale on. Um, and to cut a long story short, I drunkenly ordered seven days worth of army rations, which which have now been delivered. Um, I'm not quite sure what I was thinking at the time, but you know, here we are, they're here. So we've got to do something with them. Um, now, it, it's going to be interesting. It is going to be interesting. I mean, it'll be a good eye into, you know, what the soldiers have to wait, uh, what their diet is like. Um, and also it's going to be good for me, isn't it? I'm, um, you know, let's be honest, I put on a lot of weight and I guess it's probably hard to get fatter while you're eating army rations. At least I hope so. So it, it should be a good challenge. All right, I guess the best place to start is to unbox these rations and kind of see exactly what we're dealing with. So yeah, let's have a look. All right, here we go. This is the box containing the rations. I mean, it's it's not a huge box, to be honest with you, to contain seven days worth of food, which is slightly worrying. But um, let's not make any judgments too soon. Let's, let's have a good look at what is inside. Okay, here we go. These are the packs. I guess there's seven of these, are there? Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, let's uh, let's open some of the packs up and take a look at exactly what we get inside each one. Right, here we go. Let's take a closer look. Right. We have a premium high protein British snack. Uh, it looks like it's endorsed by Mike Tindall, no less. Um, some kind of beef jerky, lovely. Um, we have a meal, steak, vegetables, and dumplings. That doesn't sound too bad, does it? Um, what have we got here? Uh, raisin, sultana, and currant fruit mix, lovely. Um, digested biscuits, always good. Um, a fruit flavoured energy drink powder. Nice now. Two of those. Two of those. Lovely. Can't get enough to drink, can you? Um, what else do we have in here? What else do we have in here? Um, three in one tea. Nice. Powder. Tea powder. Okay. It's got like a milk, like a natural, natural. That's the wrong word, isn't it? Uh, artificial creamer powder in there. So it's tea powder. Oh, I hadn't thought about that. I guess I can't have any tea or coffee, could I know if I'm surviving purely on these? Oh, that's going to be a bomber. One, what's this one? Oh, I've got three and one coffee as well, but that is it. One cup of powdered tea a day. Maybe it makes a couple. Maybe it makes a couple of cups. Bloody hell, so well, I'm going to struggle with this. Um, coffee, an alcohol-free antibacterial wipe. Uh, very appropriate for the age at the moment, isn't it? Uh, and some super soft... Um, the tissues. Is that for wiping your ass, is it, I guess? Wow, what happens if you need a bigger poo? That should be enough. I guess I'll have to use these as well. That's that's gonna be interesting. Oh, there's something else. I've missed something. What is this? We have a um Collie Fresh Smile chewing gum. Nice. Always good to have fresh breath. And um some nougat, mixed dried fruits, nougat. Was it just one meal that I get with it? That, the steak and dumplings. Oh, there's no way I'm going to survive a whole day with just one meal. Maybe it'll have to just be like a, a three, four day challenge where I have a couple of these a day. I don't know. Surely soldier, I would have thought a soldier would have got like breakfast at least. You know what I mean? Like a, one of these with like scrambled egg and bacon in or something. I don't know. Well, we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. Um, let's have a look at some of the other ones and see what other delights I've got for my main meals and stuff. Um, yeah, I thought I thought there'd be a couple of meals in there, but I guess maybe it's enough to last a day on. But I have like the jerky for breakfast and have the main meal like over breakfast and lunch. Uh, this one's got some little sesame seed snaps in. Sesame seed that show you. You don't know what I mean. I really like these actually. They're not bad. So that's a bonus. That day is going to be fun. And oh, chicken tikka masala, chickpeas and rice. That's tasty. Although again, just that one meal. It's gonna to be tough, isn't it? That is gonna to be tough. 
I don't know, we'll try today and see how we go. Maybe I'll need two of these a day, or maybe that is a challenge. I've just got to survive on very little food. Ooh, that one doesn't sound so appetizing. Meat, sticks, and rice. Doesn't even tell you what kind of meat, just meat, sticks, and rice. That's gonna be an interesting day, isn't it? What are you having for dinner? Just meat, sticks? What kind of meat? Just, just meat. Just meat. It's kind of more like dog food, isn't it, than actual food. Um, Flavoured energy drinks, nice. I'll be buzzing up. Oh, that was nice. Stem ginger biscuits. Ooh, quite middle class, that one. What's this? What's this? Tropical fruit and nut mix, lovely. So I guess on that day, the nuts will be my breakfast. I don't know how this is going to work, to be fair. Ooh, spicy sausage and potato wedges. Oh, this is going to be a good day, that one. Still not sure I'm going to be able to survive on just that one meal, but... Let's see. Let's see. What's this? What have we got here? Oh, wow. It's like I am going to be a baby. A small child. Fruit explosion fruit fruit puree. That's, yeah, okay. Um, in each of them, actually, I should say, you get one of these, which um, is like a warming bag, I believe, uh, to warm your food up, uh, which will be exciting to do. If it will. Back here. Uh, that's the main meal of this one. Um, halal chicken and dal. Mm. Okay, in fact, let's start. Let's do this one for today. Let's have this back because we've got to start at some point. Uh, I haven't had breakfast yet, by the way. So um, let's see what exactly what we've got for today. Um, just nuts, almond and cashews. Really lovely. Fruit puree. I've got the, the stem ginger omp biscuits, which are a touch. Um, I've got a date and strawberry fruit bar. Nice. Um, tissues for the anus. Um, I've got three and one coffee, two fruit flavoured drinks. And what's this? Antibacterial wipe and a three and one tea. Okay, that is what I'm dealing with today. Um, Okay, let's choose some breakfast and do it. Uh, I've had a little think. I've mulled it over and I've come up with a plan. Uh, what I want to do today is to try and survive the whole day on just one of the ration packs. I'm not sure how feasible that will be going forward. It may well be that I need two of them a day and we'll just have to make it a shorter challenge. But for this first day, I want to really push myself. So uh, we do need some tactics so in order to make this work. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the big... Uh, the halal chicken dal, the big meal, and I'm going to have it as a kind of a very late lunch slash early dinner. Um, and for breakfast, I'm, I'm going to have uh, a handful of nuts uh, and the um, the date and strawberry fruit bar. Uh, does leave me um, kind of all of the morning and the early afternoon to get through. Uh, but I'm thinking that I can have my stem ginger oat cookies if I get really hungry. I can have some more nuts. Um, and I've also got the fruit explosion puree that I can just kind of chug if I need a little boost. Um, and I've also got, you know, one cup of tea and one cup of coffee, which I'm going to have to ration out very carefully. Uh, and a fruit flavoured energy drink powder. Um, so, nuts, fruit bar, and I think an energy drink for breakfast. Let me go and make this up and yeah, we'll sit down and have some brekkie. Okay, breakfast time. All right, let's crack open these nuts. Um... Okay, I mean, it's mainly peanuts, uh, but there's a few almonds in there, and I can see one singular cashew in there as well, so uh, that's going to be something to savour. Uh, I've made the drink. It doesn't seem to want to dissolve any more than that. Uh, it looks a bit like a snowstorm going on there, uh, but actually, it smells decent. It's apparently lime-flavoured, so let's sample this first. That's actually not too bad. That doesn't taste bad at all. Slightly off-putting, how thick and kind of, I don't want to say it, viscousy, but it is slightly viscousy. Um, you know, there's a hint of spunkiness to it in terms of its texture, but it tastes good. So uh, we're going to put the texture out of our minds. Tastes good. Um, and that just leaves us with our bar, uh, date and strawberry fruit bar. Um, here we go. Hmm. That's doesn't really smell of fruit. It smells of grease, if I'm being perfectly honest. It feels pretty greasy as well. It feels like you could stick a wick in it and um, light it and it would kind of double up as a candle. But that's uh, so what we've got. So 
Fuck him. That's him. It doesn't taste too bad, actually. In terms of texture, it's not the best, but it doesn't taste too bad. But what we can do is add some nuts to it. Kind of cover up the texture a little bit. That's a decent combo. Hmm. I mean, his breakfast goat doesn't really compare to a, a full English or even a couple of boiled eggs or even really a bowl of cornflakes. But it's, it's you know, uh, it's no it's no hardship to eat it. Not as good as what you'd eat normally, but it's not like I'm having to force it down. Okay, right. Hmm. Doesn't seem to want to be swallowed though, this fruit bar. It's um very well home survival instincts, I, I think. It doesn't seem to want to go down my throat. We're gonna do it. Maybe wash it down with this. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I mean the knots are knots. Who doesn't know a good knot? Oh no, I'm gonna save that. It's my one cashew. I'm gonna save that. Oh no, I found another one. Half a cashew. Let's have that. I mean, would it have killed them to stick a bit of salt in there would be my only complaint. But, you know, I keep thinking you shouldn't complain because the soldiers have to eat this. But actually, maybe we should complain and get them better food. A little bit of salt on the knots would go a long way. <sighs> right, okay. Uh, that is the breakfast done. Bar's been eaten. Had a generous portion of knots. Uh, I'm saving the rest of these to get me through the afternoon and also as a snack this evening. Um... Got the halal chicken for my late lunch slash early dinner. Yeah, okay. I mean, not the most satisfying breakfast I've ever had, but yeah, I've eaten. I've eaten. I can survive on that. All right, I'll see you guys later. I, I thought I'd just give you a little update. Now, uh, that breakfast may not have been up to much uh, in terms of taste-wise, but the energy drink, that was different bloody gravy. Um, I was I was worried that without my frothy coffee, I'd find it a job to get going this morning. But uh, no, that's like rocket fuel. It's brilliant. I'm buzzing. Just taking Lenny for the briskest of walks. Almost flew down the bloody beach. He's knackered out, lying down in the kitchen now. I don't know what they put in it, but I bloody love that. But uh, I've held out as long as I could. It is time for my cup of tea. Uh, in a normal day, I'd have, you know, 10, 15 cups of tea. Uh, so this is going to be a real challenge for me. Uh, I've managed to get to kind of 12 o'clock midday without any, but I can't last any longer. So uh, here we go. Here goes nothing. Powdered bloody tea. Add the water. Okay. Well, it looks like tea. Okay, here we are, my uh, daily cup of tea. Uh, you can't really see too much of it. It, it has, it's all dissolved in the, the powder. Uh, it has left a tiny little kind of, few little patches of scum along the top, which isn't the most appetizing, but I haven't had a cup of tea yet, so I'm gonna drink it. Um, yeah, I mean, it tastes kind of like tea. It's not the greatest, it's kind of like, it's like the cup of tea you'd get from one of those really crappy cheap vending machines in um, uh, kind of hospitals and um, uh, petrol stations like 10, 15 years ago. Um, it's it's drinkable, but it's it's not really a cup of tea. All right, these are my biscuits. Now that's different. Now, I thought it was going to be two chunky ones in there. What it actually is, is like uh, one, two, three, four, five uh, kind of ginger snaps, very thin ones. Um, which, you know, beggars can't be choosers. You like a chunky biscuit, but, you know, there's more of these, I guess. Not getting much of ginger out of that. Just tastes, well, smells very powdery. Um, you know, let's do this. This is uh, my tactic, by the way, for a donkable biscuit. You break it in half, uh, put the two halves together, uh, and then you donk it. Fits into your mouth nicer, um, kind of classy, smaller mouthfuls. And it also, it guards against... Um, breakage whilst donking. There you go. Mm. There you go. They absorb less of the tea than you'd expect a biscuit to. Um, you're almost totally dry inside. They're um, quite water tea resistant, these things apparently. But yeah, not a bad taste. Not bad. Okay. Yeah, mm. the more you chew it, the better it gets, actually. It's 
sipping my tea drink. Yeah, that's decent. Okay, I'm going to polish these off, I think, and um, yeah, I'll see you for the main meal a bit later. Good afternoon to you. It is, it's now nearly four o'clock and I'm proper hungry now. Uh, I've been eating the knots, I've finished off the last of those biscuits and um, yeah, I don't think I can wait any longer. So it is time for my main meal of the day, uh, which as we discussed earlier, is going to be the halal chicken and dal. Um, I'm probably less excited about the meal than I am about using the warming pouch, which apparently is going to cook the meal for me. Uh, which I'm dead, dead excited to do. So um, I'm going to turn the camera around uh, and I'm going to show you the warming pouch, the process of cooking it in this. Yeah, let's do this. All right, so I have I've ripped off the top of my hot pocket. Uh, I'm now going to insert my food pouch inside the hot pocket, um, making sure that the little kind of heating thingy majigging I don't know whether you can see that. It should be uh, underneath the pouch, apparently, which it is. And I'm now I just need to add uh, a little bit of water till it comes up to the uh, the line, um, which just for your reference is it's there. So it's not a lot of water; it's just a bit. Right, let's stick this in. Oh, I think that's about right. Um, I I now apparently fold this over here and stick it under there, and then a chemical reaction should. Uh, should begin, which I'm dead, dead excited about witnessing. All right, there we go. Fold it over. The water's there, it's on the bottom. Okay, here we go. All right, that is cooking away nicely. I don't know how much you can hear of it, but it's bobbling, sizzling away, steaming. Um, apparently, it needs to be left for like 10 minutes in there. Uh, so at about five minutes past four, my dinner should be ready. Okay, I mean, it is lovely and hot, that is. It's proper cooked it nicely. Uh, less lovely to look at inside, uh, probably a little bit drier than I generally like from a curry um, and also a little bit kind of lacking in rice and naan bread than I want from a curry normally, but I mean, if beggars can't be choosers. So I've got my all-in-one eating implement, uh, which I'm going to use to consume a curry and I've also got my alcohol-free antibacterial wipe to, um, to clean myself up afterwards. All right, let's give it a taste test and see how... How survivable this is going to be. Here we go. Very, very salty. Um, not very spicy at all, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's edible. Have a little look at the chicken in there just to see what kind of quality of meat we're getting. Actually, that's probably best. I don't kind of examine the meat. I haven't given it a cursory glance. I don't think I want to look at it more closely. I'm just not going to think about it and eat it. Yeah. That's edible. That is totally edible. It's not It's not like I'm going to be looking forward to my meal times. I can see. I'm not going to be relishing them. It's not going to be a, a gastric delight each night. But that is totally edible. Uh, and, I, you know, I think I can do this. I think I can do it on maybe even one of these a day as well. We'll see. I'm going to finish this off and we'll see how full I am afterwards. All right, that was, um, I don't want to use the word decent. That might be a little bit too strong, but it's it's filled me up. It's definitely filled me up. In fact, it's filled me up so much I feel slightly queasy. Um, although that may be the inordinate amount of salt that was in there. Um, I, I don't want to moan too much because there are soldiers out there in far worse conditions than me eating this, surviving on this. You know, I'm just sitting in my kitchen making a twatty little YouTube video. So I don't want to moan too much. I'm full um, and I think I'll be able to smash the challenge. I will be able to last on this, probably even on just one of these a day, uh, which unfortunately does mean the challenge is going to last a full seven days. But there we go. I'm going to push myself. I'm going to try and do it. Right. I am, I'm going to go and chill out for an hour or two now, have a bath, get myself ready, mentally ready. I'm streaming tonight and it's, it's, it's a bag of arse tonight. It's Wednesday. It's bloody viewer's choice. They always make me play Roblox. It's horrific. They run behind me and bomb me and put rude stuff up on the screen. It's just so hectic. In fact, tactically, I should have thought about this and started this challenge tomorrow because normally I've got like loads of snacks and cups of tea and stuff to power me through the stream. I'm have none of that tonight, which does leave me very vulnerable. But never mind. We've started it now. We'll do the best we can. All right, I'm going to go and chill out, get myself in the right headspace, um, and I'll check in with you guys again before I go to bed.
Hey up to you, right, I am just setting up for tonight's stream. Uh, I thought before I do go live, I would have a tactical fruit explosion. Uh, my final remaining item. I've still got a few nuts left to be fair, uh, but this is the last thing I haven't opened. So I thought, yeah, Bosch will bang this down, chop this down, and hopefully uh, it will kind of power me through the stream. I mean, I still feel full, um, but I feel hungry. I don't know whether that makes sense. The meal I had is kind of the dal and halal chicken is all sitting heavy in my stomach um, like a cannonball. Uh, but I still feel hungry. I think that's probably just greedy, though, if we're being honest. I kind of miss my pudding and stuff that I normally would have had. So, um, but yeah, add this. Hopefully it'll power me through. So let's give this a go. Fruit explosion. Ooh. Wow, very, very sweet. Um, I have a yellow cap, which apparently means I've got apple, mango, and banana. Um and an awful lot of sugar by the taste of it, but that's not mum. I can't get over the feeling that I am, um, I'm a bit like a massive overgrown baby sitting here with a fruit pouch, but never mind. Okay, done. It wasn't unpleasant, um, kind of abnormally sweet and sugary, but yeah, it's got to be healthy, isn't it? It's got to be good for you, even with the sugar, your apple, banana, and mango in there. Hey, up, right? It is the morning of day two, and the first real issue, my first real problem with the challenge has arisen. Um, it's not a very glamorous thing, and there's no way to sugarcoat it, so I'm just going to tell you. So, um, obviously, every morning, I start the day the same way, with a bio-evacuation. Normally, one of my favourite parts of the day, just, uh, you know, was a leisurely poop. You feel invigorated afterwards, you feel renewed. Well... This morning, it was not like that. It was slightly painful. I am a little bit constipated. Um, it's, I mean, clearly, it's a result of the food that I ate yesterday, the ration pack. Um, it's not make or break at this stage. You know, it wasn't massive constipation, but I do have a bit of a history with piles. So I am worried that going forwards, uh, this could develop into a significant problem. Um, at the moment, the only thing I can think is just to keep drinking loads and loads of water and hopefully that will kind of counteract the issue. Uh, but I am worried about it. Um, I've, I've had a few knots from yesterday's ration pack just to start the day. Um, I'm going to um, get the new ration pack out and we go through it. I'm just waiting for my family to go out for a walk. They, I'm just I'm sick of the sight of them, to be honest with you. Lockdown has been it's just been too long and just too much of them. Literally, looking at them now makes me feel physically annoyed. So I'm waiting for them to go out and then we'll do the whole ration pack and see what I've got to eat for today. Um, until then, I'm going to go and shave my head and just try and freshen myself up and feel a little bit more with it because it's been, yeah, it's not been the ideal start to the day. Right, I've shaved my head. Uh, I feel a bit better, kind of invigorated, fresher. But to be perfectly honest with you, I would take a proper poo every day of the week. I would exchange that feeling for the feeling of properly evacuating my bowels this morning. But never mind. Anyway, let's take a look at what I am going to be eating today. So, uh, obviously, I've got one of these little hot pockets, uh, which I found quite exciting yesterday. Uh, some more tissues. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I did use toilet roll this morning. I didn't use these. Uh, I'll save those for in case I get a cold or something. Um, actually, maybe I could give them to my mum. Uh, she loves to have a little pack of tissues in her handbag. A little birthday gift. No, not a birthday gift. It's too small as a birthday gift, but just a nice gift. Anyway, another fruit explosion. That was very sweet, but quite enjoyable yesterday. Oh, energy drink. Yeah. Enjoy the energy drink. So I've got, oh, these are different. These are different. Uh, I've got two lemon ones in very brightly orange colored packaging. Um, I've got some more Just Nuts. Now, these are apparently meant to be 60% peanut, 30% almond, and 10% cashews. But I'm gonna be honest with you, from yesterday's pack, it was about 90% peanuts, 7% um, almonds, uh, and maybe 3% cashews. But yeah, um, I, I've got an oatmeal block. That doesn't sound as nice as the, the ginger cookies, does it? But there we go, an oatmeal block. What's a block? Um, I've got a cereal bar, which I'm gonna talk into in a minute, I guess. That'll be my breakfast, cranberry flavor. Um, three in one coffee, which I'll have with my cereal bar, and a three in one tea, which I will save for my one cup of tea. 
Uh, I've got a little mint kind of chewing gum again. Oh, two of them in there, nice. Um, and I've got, this is my, ooh. Okay, that's disappointing. Bean and pasta salad. I want salad as your one meal of the day, do you? You want something nourishing and substantial. There's no meat in there. Butter beans and kidney beans with pasta and tomato chilli sauce. And chilli is decent, at least it's got some spice. Probably like a bit of cheese on there or something, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. That's what I've got to eat today, which, yeah, isn't massively filling me with excitement. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, but I am hungry, so I'm going to go make my three of one coffee drink, and we're talking to the cereal bar for breakfast. All right, coffee's ready. It is time for breakfast. Um, yeah, as I said, if I was doing this outside of the challenge and I had that coffee, I would probably add a bit of milk to it, some sugar, just try and zhuzh it up a little bit. But I'm trying to stick as faithfully to the challenge as possible because, um, you know, the soldiers, the army, if they had these ration packs, they wouldn't have a pint of milk to, to add to it and extra sugar and stuff. So I'm trying to experience it as they would experience it. Um, so, yeah, let's try the coffee first of all. Ooh, hot. Yeah, it's an instant coffee. Um, it, again, it reminds me of like service station coffee that you get in petrol stations, service stations, kind of 20 years ago. Um, it's not actually that bad. The uh, the powdered creamer uh, adds something to it, I think. If it was just an instant coffee with normal milk, it'd probably be worse than that. Um, yeah, it's coffee, and I like coffee in the morning, so I'm gonna chalk into it. Um, this is the cereal bar. Um, not massively appetizing color to it, but I'm gonna go with it. It smells, it smells very um, wholesome, very earthy. Um, yeah, okay. Ooh. Mm. Okay. Mm. It's quite buttery, actually. And it's quite, the cranberries are quite zingy. Actually, I really like that. I mean, again, I'd rather be having some bacon, some eggs, some beans, that kind of stuff, but I don't know, for a ration pack. I'm not going to complain, that's quite tasty. It's not going to fill me up and off, you know, the way that a normal breakfast would, but I'm going to really enjoy eating that. Hey, up, right, it is time for my mid-morning snack. Um, tempted as I am to talk into my cup of tea, I am I'm trying to save that for as long as possible. So I've got myself one of the energy drinks and um, we're, we're going to try the oatmeal block. I don't think that's the best way to describe something. Let's have a little look at it. All right, okay, so it's a bit of it's fallen off, but it's a biscuit, basically. That will, uh, why not call it a biscuit? That's going to make it so much more appetizing than oatmeal block. Jeepers, creepers. All right, anyway, let's, let's talk in more eating. Let's try this. Oh, it smells horrible. Well, no, it doesn't smell actively bad. It just smells incredibly bland, like kind of concrete, maybe. Cement, anyway. Yeah, it's decent. Quite dry. Quite bland, but it's sweet enough to make it kind of a bit of a pleasure to eat. Yeah. It'll keep me going, I guess, for another hour or two. So, my dinner is now cooking away. This is hands down my favourite part of this whole challenge is... Um, Cooking the stuff in a hot pocket. I don't know what it is that I find so exciting and pleasing about it, uh, but I do. I love it. Okay, food is now piping hot. Um, I'm actually eating a lot later today. It is. It's nearly seven o'clock. I've had loud food to eat in today, which gives you some idea as to how enamoured I am by this food. Um, and a bit of a low point earlier as well. I went out for a little scoot on my electric scooter because it was a nice evening. And um, I made the mistake of going past a chippy fish and chip shop. The village was just smelling all salt and vinegary and chippy. And yeah, it was it was hard. It was difficult. Even more difficult now I'm looking at this and it looks quite a lot like warm, um, kind of very slightly digested vomit. Um, okay, I mean, I'm starving, so I'm going to eat it. I've got my all-in-one eating implement and here goes nothing. So... 
Uh, you've got bits of pasta on there, uh, some sweet corn. It's always sweet corn, isn't there? Makes it look even more vomity. Um, yeah, sweet. There's always vomit, isn't there? I don't know whether you notice that. If someone vomits like out of the street when they're drunk or something, there's always sweet corn in there. Where is everyone eating sweet corn? I don't know, but I'm going to stop talking about vomit now because I do want to actually eat some of this because I'm starving. But there's sweet corn. Uh, there's some kind of bean there, butter bean, I'd imagine. It's quite big and chunky. Uh, there's pasta. And it's obviously like a tomato sauce. Let's give it a go. Oh, and that's better than I was expecting to be fair. Hmm. It's got kind of a smoky taste to it. And what's in that? Maybe some paprika or something? Coriander, paprika, yeah. It's got kind of a a slight kind of, not curry taste to it, but a bit of spiciness. Um, that's not too bad. Yeah, I'm going to scram this. Up. Okay, I'm done now. Um, I didn't quite finish it today. There's it's about kind of 15, 20 mouthfuls, good mouthfuls in these pouches. And I've probably left two or three in there, which is slightly worrying. Yesterday, I, I ate it all. I was so hungry. Um, today, I found it after the first kind of five, ten mouthfuls. It was just getting a bit bland and... It just needed something to juice it up a little bit, a bit of cheese or something. And I find they sit really heavily in my stomach. So I've actually left a couple of mouthfuls, which is slightly worrying, seeing as this is my only meal of the day. I mean, it's not that worrying. I'm a, a fat bugger at the moment, so it's not like I'm going to waste away. But there we go. All right, good morning to all of you. Well, it's not particularly good, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. The fact that I'm recording this while sitting on a cushion should tell you everything you need to know about my current situation. My arse is broken. Spent the best part of 30 incredibly strenuous, painful minutes in the toilet this morning, and I, I'm a broken man now. So much pain. So much. just It's taken every little bit of pleasure. Like, pooing is one of life's underrated pleasures normally, and it, it, it's not me at the moment i'm now massively in pain in the anal regions but the, the challenge must go on so let's show you what i've got to eat today what i really need is a tin full of bloody prunes but it's not likely to be in here well i know it's not in here because i show people on stream what we're going to have today and i know it's the worst one we've had yet i'll show you the main meal this it's the meat sticks and rice god knows what kind of meat it is that's that's not going to help my bombed up is it meat sticks and rice jesus i don't even know if i'm gonna eat that today i might just fast you know in terms of main meals i think it might be what my anus needs um i've got some jerky that's decent i'll enjoy that um three and one coffee um i'm already drinking i'm already kind of half drunk the tea drink so that's gone already um couple of orange energy drinks um Sesame seed snaps, they're decent, I like those. Um, and what's the biscuit today? It is a dark chocolate chip oat biscuit. That sounds more appealing than an oatmeal block from yesterday, doesn't it? Uh, and the fruit explosion is orange today, which is apple and peach. So I'm gonna eat the sesame seed snaps as um, my breakfast. Uh, and I think I might even have the, um, I'm going to have the fruit explosion straight away, just to try and soften up for tomorrow's bio evacuation. You know, the, the early kind of turtle head, softer the better, I guess. So let's start with that. Yeah, it's still very sweet. I think I prefer the apple and mango banana one. Um, and the sesame seed snaps. And they'll stop together. God, we're just going to break apart. Okay. Yeah, they're decent. Right, this is my breakfast. Hey, oh, good afternoon to you guys. Um, I'm back to have my kind of lunchtime snack, the jerky. Um, I spent most of the morning um, picking out sesame seeds in between my teeth. Uh, those snaps are very pleasant to eat, they taste good, but uh, it's kind of the meal that keeps on giving. You're still digesting it a couple of hours later. Um, I've also been drinking a boatload of water and just trying to get stuff moving again. I mean, surely this is like a hazard. What what good is it to have soldiers who've got sore anuses? You know, you're not going to be able to perform to your, to your peak, are you, if you've got a sore anus? And I know it's probably worse for me because... 
you know, I've had pre-existing problems down there with the old piles, but surely you want your soldiers to be able to poop freely and quickly. You know, what if they're under attack and they're all trying to squeeze one out? It's, it's a hazard. I need to do something about this. Um, but yeah, it's time for some jerky. It smells good, actually, a meat-based snack. So it's right up my straight. Um, pretty hungry. Um, so yeah, apparently it's marinated strips of lean British and Irish beef. And it's over 30% protein. So we're going to give it a go. We're going to give it a go. Works oh, tough. Doesn't taste good. I'm just going to wash it down with some water. That doesn't taste half as good as I hope it would. Um, it's like all the bad bits of a bit of beef. It's kind of chewy, gristly, um, without much of the flavour. But um, I've got nothing else to eat, so I guess it's this or nothing. Actually, I've got my biscuits. I might have my biscuits for lunch. I don't really fancy that an awful lot. That's a disappointing. I was looking forward to a meat based snack. Maybe as I get hungry, as the day goes on, it will become more appealing. I'm going to eat my biscuits for now and, uh, yeah, try and tide myself over that way. Right, I've had it. I've had it with today. I'm going to bed. It's not even 8.30 yet, and I've had an offer today, to be perfectly honest with you. I'm not I'm not eating. I'm not going to eat that meal. I'm not going to force down some indeterminate meat and further constipate myself. No, I'd rather be hungry. Thank you very much. I am hungry. I'm really bloody hungry. Too hungry to stream. Can't do that on an empty stomach. I'm too hungry to stream and too constipated to eat. It's like Hobson's bloody choice, isn't it? No, I've had enough of today. I'm, I'm going to go to sleep and hopefully tomorrow will be a better day. See you in the morning. Good morning to all of you. I'm sorry for yesterday. It just, it all got on top of me. I know I wasn't my usual bright, breezy self. Um, this morning, I am feeling a fair bit better. I had a lot of sleep last night, obviously. Um, this morning, I did try for my bioevacuation as usual, and I, I am still bunged up. I don't understand how. All I ate yesterday were nuts and the body biscuits and stuff, but um, rather than kind of strain through it, I decided, well, just wait. It will it will come when it needs to come. And I, um, you know, to kind of break the cycle, I took my, my e-scooter out round the harbour, um, and it was lovely. The sun is shining, it feels like springtime, and I'm just putting it out of my mind that at some point today I will have to birth a bloody poop out but never mind all right let's have a look at what we are dealing with today um so meal wise that that looks so much better than indeterminate meat sticks that is steak vegetables and dumplings that's one of my favorite meals so actually looking forward to one of these for the first time uh i've got some nougat which i guess i'll talk into for breakfast mixed dried fruits nougat bar lovely uh, got the usual tissues. Got some, oh, jerky, but this time it's barbecue. Was the other one barbecue? I don't think it was. Actually, I think it was. I, I mean, it was, it was a bit disappointing, the jerky, to be fair, but I've got some. Um, I think I prefer the knots to the jerky, which isn't something I thought I'd ever say. But there you go. Uh, I've got oat digestive biscuits. Lovely. So I'll have a mixture of biscuits and nougat bar for breakfast, I think. And what's this? This is different. Oh, oh. Raisin sultanas and currants fruit mix. I feel like that might be a bit of a lifesaver. My body, clearly, with the issues I'm having, is craving fruit and vegetables. So, yeah, let's have those for breakfast, actually. It's not really well. Um, I've got my, my coffee and my tea. I'll crack on for and have the coffee in a minute. And um, what have we got here? Apple, ooh, I haven't had apple yet. Apple energy drink, two apple energy drinks, uh, and an alcohol-free bacterial wipe to clean myself up with, should I so need it. And the hot pocket to cook the, uh, the steak and dumplings. But I'm feeling more positive about it today. That is a decent mix of food. Steak, vegetables, and dumplings should be all right. Uh, I've got some fresh fruit and vegetables, well, some raisins, sultanas, and currants, which hopefully will help the whole constipation issue. Yeah, we're back on track. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling strong. And I'm feeling like I can do this. All right, have some raisins. Love that. I've still got a few of those knots left, actually. Where are they gone? Where are they gone? I'll mix that. It's going to be a lovely breakfast. Just a few, a few peanuts. Oh, and an almond. Lovely. 
some raisins. Um, I'll scoff these down. I'll make my cup of coffee and we go about the day. But yeah, I'm feeling better. It's sunny. It feels like spring has come. Um, I'm going to have to poop it sometime. But at least I've got food that may be quite nice to eat. Hubble bubble, toil and trouble. Yeah, the steak and vegetables and dumplings are cooking now. I'm really looking forward to this. Right, it is time for my main meal of the day. Um, eating a lot earlier today. It's not even at three o'clock yet, and that is by far the earliest time that I've kind of given in and eaten. Um, but look, we've not kind of eaten yesterday's meal uh, and kind of combining that with the fact that it's the steak and vegetable dumpling, something I actually quite want to eat today, uh, I'm going to allow it. So I've, I've warmed it all up. The smell of it is quite nice. The sight of it, not so good. Does look a little bit dog foody, but I'm not going to think about that. Um, I've also readied myself an apple energy drink. Um, sample of that now. That's decent. That's not bad. That does taste like apple, which is you'd hope for, wouldn't you? Um, one thing I will say, the kind of backdrop to me recording at the moment is a, um, a horrific whiff of cauliflower. My sister makes some kind of weird cauliflower concoction for lunch. It's like, I don't understand it with vegans. It's like, you know, bread's vegan, just have a sandwich. Why do they have to eat such weird stuff? Who eats cauliflower for lunch? Crazy. Anyway, let's have a dig in. So, got some vegetables, some potatoes in there, a uh, bit of gravy. Let's get a bit of the steak. Mm. Luke and I think steak might be slightly optimistic um, as a way of describing this meat, but never mind, we're going to give it a go. Oh, that's nice. That's really decent. Try and find a dumpling. Mmm. Mmm. Easily, easily the best meal we've had so far. Like, there is a dumpling. I'm going to show you that before I scan it. Yeah, that's the dumpling. I'm not going to eat it all at once because I think that's my only one. Uh, a bit of dumpling, a bit of carrot with it, and a bit of um, steak. Right, there we go. Mm. Dumplings aren't amazing, but still, easily the best meal that I've had so far. Right, I just thought I would check in with you guys quickly. Um, today, today's been a real day of contrast, actually. Um, on kind of one hand, on the positive side, um, it, it's been lovely and sunny all day long. It's it's nearly half past five now, and it's still light outside. I really love seeing the the winter disappear into the distance. It feels like spring's coming. It makes my spirits soar. Um, also, on the positive, I've I've really enjoyed the meal that I had today. I've eaten it all off. I feel like I'm not hungry for the first time in a couple of days, and you know I feel strong enough to stream tonight. So massive, massive positives. Um, on the kind of the negative side, um, I still have not performed the biological evacuation yet today. Um, that worries me. I never normally reach evening time without having pooed. It's normally almost like, like clockwork for me, first thing in the morning, done. Um, in a way, I'm glad because the poos have been quite painful, but also it's worrying. You know, what? What's gonna when it finally comes out, what's that going to be like? It's going to bloody break me. So yeah, that is worrying me slightly, but I'm going to try and put it out of my mind. Um, yeah, big positives, lovely sunshine, uh, enjoyed my meal, um, but really could do with a poo now. Hey yo, right, it is a, it's another lovely sunshiny morning. I've been out again for another early morning e-scoot. Uh, that thing is really, it's really coming into its own now, the spring weather is here. I'm loving it, bopping around the village on it. Um, I find it's quite the attention grabber as well. Loads of people look at you, glance at you, you know, admiring kind of, admiring loops and stuff. Yeah, it's great fun. Um, that, that's the positive news. Uh, the, the kind of less positive news is um, yet again this morning, I, I there was no bio evacuation. Now, you guys, some of you may think that I'm kind of going on about this a bit much, but for someone who has suffered with piles and anal issues, let's just put it that way, someone who's suffered with anal issues, it's a very serious situation. I devote a lot of attention to making sure this doesn't happen in my everyday life. You know, I'm careful about what I eat and if I have something that that I know does kind of bong me up a bit. I'll eat lots of fruit that day, drink lots of water, um, but I don't know what to do really. Um, I thought yesterday I would definitely be on kind of an easier street with the, the whole pooping because the day before all I'd had was the biscuits and some nuts and stuff and loads of water, but nothing. And again, nothing this morning, which it's a serious situation for me. So 
yeah, I'm worried about that. But there's little I can do about it. I think what I'm missing as well is the frothy coffees in the morning. That is a bit of a kind of, it's a kind of um, a poop lubricator, if you will. It's like an ignition switch. I have my frothy coffee. And normally it's like, well, okay, time to go. Uh, but without that, you know, the coffee drink you get in these packs, it doesn't have the, quite the same effect. Anyway, let's have a look at what I'm going to be stopping today, what I'm going to be living off. So, I've got tropical fruit and nut mix. Probably not enough fruit to do the job, but beggars can't be choosers. I've got stem ginger oak biscuits. Lovely. I did enjoy those earlier in the week. A fruit flavoured energy drink. Lime. Times two. Uh, I've worked out that you don't need all of the powder just to make one drink. You can make two or three glasses out of each of these, so that's quite pleasant. Um, I've got fruit explosion, yellow cap, so it's the apple and mango again. I've uh, got my tea and my coffee drink, alcohol wipe, tissues, uh, chewing gum, which I haven't eaten yet so far this week. And um, what's this? Okay, this is different. This is something new. Strawberry, phrase, elderberry, fragola, fresher, morango. I don't know what that is, but it looks fruity. So let's try this to start with, shall we? Because anything fruity is not to be scoffed at right now. Um, ooh. Ooh. It's like a jam, but not. It's like a strawberry paste. Yeah, I think that's something I'd probably have on toast, to be honest with you, rather than just neat. But, okay. Bear that in mind, I've got it. I'm not going to scoff right into that because it's a little bit too sweet um, on its own. What I will do is start with my fruit explosion. I'm quite enjoying these. Ah, done. And I'm going to go and make my three in one tea drink um, and I'll just eat my, my biscuits I think to start with. Um, we've got my nuts and stuff to have for lunch and then we've got, what have we got? Spicy sausage and potato wedges for dinner. Wow, nice, that sounds good. Okay, I'm gonna scoff my biscuits. I'll see you guys a bit later. Right, I thought I would just check in with you guys quickly and talk a little bit about how I'm feeling because today has, it's been easily the toughest day of the challenge so far. Um, each day has been difficult. I've been left hungry and unsatisfied, but um, it's Sunday today and I'm, I'm really missing my Sunday roast. During lockdown, it's been hands down my favourite day of the week. It's, it's something different, like the routine changes a bit. I go to the shop and get all the stuff in and I spend hours cooking the roast and eating the roast. It's, it's been a lovely little routine that I've had during lockdown and I've, I've, I've massively missed it today. Um, on the plus side, I did notice earlier my jeans were a little bit loose. Uh, when I was scooting around, I kind of, I got back and realised actually I could probably do with putting a belt on and it's been a number of weeks since I've needed a belt with these jeans. So I guess eating just the rations has kind of helped me lose a little bit of weight. I will swap that kind of tiny bit of weight loss though for a roast dinner today, I tell you. Yeah, really missed it. The Hot Pocket is doing its thing. I'm less than 10 minutes away from my spicy sausage and wedges. Lenny, good boy. It is spicy sausage time. Yes, I've been looking forward to this all day long. Um, I have opened it up. This is what we're dealing with. Um, quite generous amounts of sausage in there by the looks of it. Uh, different beans, bits of mushrooms, some tomatoes. Yeah, nice. Uh, Accompany it with uh, the lime energy drink, which I think on reflection, uh, it's probably my favourite out of all of them. It reminds me of this squash that my nana used to get in when we were kids. Um, yeah, quite like it. Anyway, we're here for the meal. We're here for the meal. Let's get me a good mouthful. So, some sausage, some beans and whatever kind of vegetables are there. Mmm. Mmm. That's decent. Get a wedge. Oh, there we go. Wedge. Oh! Christ, I've just catapulted it. Um, you know, part of it onto the floor. It might, it might. It's only a little bit of it. There's still plenty of wedge action and sausages in there. 
we'll be all right. Let's just get the mouthful. There we go. So in this one, I've got some wedge and I've got some sausage. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, this is my favourite. This is the best we've had so far. Easily, actually. Sausage isn't massively, massively spicy, but the rest of it's got a bit of spice to it. Uh, so that more than makes up for it. Some beans in this one. Mm. Yeah, that is genuinely pretty tasty. Hi, I'm, I'm in a bad way. Um, it's happened. I woke up this morning and I've finally gone for a poo and it was horrendous. It was, it was literally like giving birth. Uh, an anal apocalypse is the only way I can describe what just happened. It, I'm in bits now. I'm in so much pain. Um, I think I think I'm just going to have to end the challenge now. I'm afraid. Uh, I hate quitting stuff early, and I want to stick to just eating the ration packs. But I now need I need to take some kind of laxative. I cannot have that happen again tomorrow. Um, I'm so sorry to let you all down, but I've I've got to think about my own well being now. I hate quitting, but I think I've just got to for my own safety. I'm going to go down boots now, and I'm going to get myself some laxative and um, some kind of ointment, and I'll I'll come back and speak to you when the situation is improved. Right, a couple of days have now gone by and I'm pretty much back to normal. I'm pooping with my usual regularity and uh, relatively pain free. Um, I apologise. I, I kind of feel like this video has turned into the pooping diaries a little bit, which obviously isn't what I had planned for it when I when I started making it. But um, I guess you kind of you've got to go where the challenge leads you, and that that is where the challenge led me, unfortunately. Um, I've learned an awful lot about other people's pooping habits, actually. Apparently, going two days without a, a bowel movement isn't abnormal for some of you. Apparently, some of you already poop once a week. Uh, couldn't be me, but interested information. Um, I mean, obviously, I'm massively disappointed that I had to quit the challenge early. That's that's not really in my makeup. I hate doing that, but I do think I made the right decision. Um, I'm going to do a couple more of these eating challenges. I am, I'm kind of getting bored of them, to be perfectly honest with you. But while we're still in lockdown and I can't do much else, uh, I think we may as well do the vegan challenge and we may as well do the carnivore challenge. Um, let me know in the comments which one you want first. Um, and then hopefully we will be unlocking. I cannot wait for that. I want to do way harder challenges. I want to go out into the wild uh, with just a few important survival tools to survive with. Um, I want to go, you know, uh, reviewing hotels again. I want to go to other countries. I just can't wait for it to all, all unlock and record my music as well. Can't wait to release some more music. But for the next couple of weeks, while we're while we're still locked down, I will do the carnivore challenge and the vegan challenge. All right, I guess that brings us to the end of this video. If you did enjoy it, please do leave a like. If you didn't, please do leave a dislike. Always want your honest opinions. And if you have made it this far, thank you very much for watching.